WebWiz. As you can see, we have a new video intro to our tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create such an intro. First, you're going to go to www.movietools.info. Once you are here, you're going to go to Free Web Resources in this tab. You can then see this free content box here. You're going to click on Video Background Loops. You can then click on a category to find the video background loop that you're going to use in your um, video intro. So we can select something like high tech, high tech loops. And this is going to show you all of the high tech loop categories that they have. So here's one that looks like a keyboard. And then here we have digital eye. This is the one that we used in this tutorial. So we're go going to click on the picture. Now, uh, depending on whichever loop you picked, you're going to go to a page which is pretty much similar to this one. They're going to have a preview of what the loop looks like in this little video box. And the loop will be different depending on what loop you picked. If you picked Digital Eye, then you will see um, this. There may be a different picture here if you picked a different loop. Click the play button and it will play a preview of your loop. You can watch that, you can just pause it. And then you can go down to where it says downloads. And then you can either select to download a QuickTime file, that's .mov, or a Windows Media file, that's .wmv. Now if you're using a Macintosh computer, you should download a .mov. You cannot play a .wmv file on a Mac. Uh, if you're using Windows, you can download the .wmv. That's a um, uh, Windows Media Player file. So you can just click on whichever button for whichever type of computer you're using. Once that's downloaded, you can import it into whichever uh, video editing software you're using. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use iMovie. However, if you have a Windows computer, you may be using something like Sony Vegas or Windows Movie Maker. Even if you're using a Mac, you may be using something different like Final Cut Pro. So open whatever video editing software you're using, and what I'm going to tell you should apply to all of those. You can go to File, Import, and Movies, or wherever you go to import your movies, and then you can browse your computer and select the file. Now in iMovie, I imported it into this new event here and this is the video opening. You can obviously see how that plays in the preview window. You can then click on the video loop and drag it into the timeline. Wait for it to upload. And then you can see that the video loop has been copied into the timeline. Next what you want to do is add text. So you can go to title or text tab, and then click one of the different text um, text effects that they have. I'm going to select centered, and then drop it over the video loop, and type some text in, something like web with productions, or whatever you want to put up there. Your title goes here. You can then highlight the text and change the font type. You can change it to black. You can change it, the uh, font type here. You can do whatever you want to the text. You can then click done once you're done editing the text and drag it to be half the video loop long. So now you can see that this title will take up half the video loop or you can maybe take up the whole, depends on how many text um, overlays you're going to have on the video loop. I'm just going to go half because I want to put two video, uh, two texts up. So I'm going to put another title and drag it onto the second half. And then I can type whatever I want in there. Something like today's tutorial. And I would put whatever my tutorial title is up there. I can then change the font for this one black. 
And for whatever um, loop you're choosing, you should change the font text accordingly. Um, on this particular loop, black looks nice. If you have a very dark loop, you may want to put white up. Um, there has to be a contrast so that people can see the uh, font clearly. Once you're done, you can then take watch the preview of your uh, video loop. And you can see in the preview box our text showing up. The last thing that you want to do is add audio track to your video loop. And so some video editing software do not have uh, audio inside of the video editing software. iMovie does have iLife audio. You can see iLife sound effects once I clicked on the audio tab. If you're using Windows Movie Maker, you're going to have to import audio that you already have on your computer. You can just do that by going to it, the import tab wherever it is on your video editing software. If you're using iMovie or Final Cut Pro, you can just select the iLife and then choose a uh, soundtrack. Just double click it to preview what that sounds like. And then once you find whichever audio soundtrack you want, you can just select it and drag it over into the timeline. You can see that I dragged the audio loop into the timeline. So now that if we play and watch the preview here, looks pretty nice. So we have the video loop going on in the background, the text, which is what you want everybody to read, and we have a nice um, audio background. Now that this is created, we can just share it to iTunes or YouTube, and you can, if you share it to iTunes or whatever, Windows Media Player, you can add it to the beginning of all videos that you create. Thank you for watching this WebWiz tutorial.